Oh, the little fraggles are talking of little fraggles. Look who's here. It's, <laughs> it's Big Fraggles. Live, Warren. Hello. Hello. Hi. All right. I'm all right. Just look at a couple of trailers for the new program. Have you? Yeah, it's marvelous. Good. Listen out for them. Can't wait to see them. Listen, whilst you're here, Pooh Face, why don't you draw <laughs> out the competition, <laughs> the Ghostbusters competition? Right, five cards. Yes, and it's to win the board two, game. And the question was three, who had the original idea four, for Ghostbusters? And the five. answer was I'll Dan Aykroyd. See you soon. After the break. That'll be the break then. What checks should you ask your doctor to carry out to make sure you and your baby are healthy? Are girls really easier to potty train than boys? How do you cope with a naughty child? Find out in a new publication called My Child. Each week it grows into a complete guide to child care and pregnancy. It explains which foods are best for your unborn child, how to reassure a jealous child, even what fun it can be making your children's toys. And there's a weekly A to Z of child health. Get My Child, because every mother needs a little help. For people who enjoy dogs, it's the show of the year, Crafts 1990. And it's another great show for pedigree chum. Of 149 best of breed winners, no fewer than 126 are regularly fed on Britain's favorite dog food. And yet again, the Craft Supreme Champion is a dog fed on pedigree chum, the food of champions. Top breeders recommend it. He came in after having an asthma attack. What was his peak flow like? On admission, it was uh, 120, and then this morning it was 140. Right, okay. Did he have any relatives with him? Yes. Um, both him. Time. Have things changed at all for you? Well, quite a lot of more tightness in the chest. Mm. Did, did that come over from Mrs. Wright uh, yesterday, Liz, as well? Yes, apparently he's been getting more and more wheezy. Mm. So we were thinking that salbutamol would help. Yes, I think that's a good idea. Well, we'll be carrying it. Get the trolley. <laughs> Cardiac arrest, <laughs> Albert Ward. I've given you a list of diabetics who you can go. Mr. Bedley. Thank you for everything. Come on, thank you. Bye. You all right? Family's gone home. What did you do at work today? To find out more about nursing, call 0800 333 6 Free. You had to tell me who had the original idea for Ghostbusters. I know. And of course, the uh, answer was <laughs> Dan, Dan Aykroyd. Yes. Right, I got five cards here. Sorry, well, no then, time for the winners. Oh, here's it Bugs Bunny. Bugs, Bugs, Bugs Bunny. Bunny. Do you know it's his 50th anniversary this year? I know. It's, it's incredible. incredible. Wait, hey, hey, hang on a minute. Go I've got what? something important to Go do. Then. These are the winners for the competition. What was the answer again? Dan, Dan Aykroyd. Just testing. What was the Steve question? Steve Davis from uh, Blackport. As well done to you. Adam Booth from Stoke-on-Trent. Well done. Miss S. Ward from Basingstoke in Hampshire. Also Adam Wilshire from Nottingham. And Aaron Fellows from Birmingham. Well done. Oh! on the way for you. <laughs> My friend Alan is a greedy chap. He's bound to fall in the crocodile's trap. Always make me lick my chops, <laughs> but I'm half as yummy as cocoa pops. Oh no! Kellogg's cocoa pops taste magic. Even turns to milk chocolatey. So we'd rather have a bowl of cocoa pops. Next time you buy a hand lotion, treat yourself to a manicure. New hand and nail formula from Vaseline Intensive Care. When we get a cold. We most likely get a bunged up nose or a sore throat. But all too often we get both together. Double trouble. And that's precisely why lockets have a double action. On the outside, menthol to help clear your nose and let you breathe more easily. Inside, a liquid center to soothe your throat. Making you feel altogether human again. So for double trouble, double action lockets help clear your nose and soothe your throat. Detox introduce a very unusual bathroom cleaner. It's a blue liquid gel. And it rinses clean away. I'll be in the bath. It's antibacterial, with a fragrance all its own. Someone help me a towel, please. And it makes the bathroom a nicer place to be. That's better. New Detox liquid gel. 
Cracker. Cracker. Hang about. Oh, it's a Jacobs. Are you sure? Yeah. I haven't seen those kibbled markings before. Kibbled wheat, kibbled rye. Barley flakes. Mm -hmm. Bran. And a distinctive golden colouring. Anything on this back? No. It's a Jacobs it's Choice Grain. A cracker's not plain if it's Jacobs Choice Grain. Oh, it's gone. There's another one. You for coming in today, <laughs> my pleasure. And thanks for drawing the competition. Yeah, Where are, are you off to now? Back to Capital Radio for my early morning show. Oh, so Dickie Atterborough will be pleased you said that. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, it's lovely to see you. Just going to stick around and watch Teabag, That's though. Right, here okay. it is. Today, Sally finds herself in a tight corner. Is Teabag really queen of the Nile? Or is everyone heading for double trouble? Find out now. out of hand t-shirt and who do you suppose we have to thank for that mm, bold brain uh... oh don't stand there like a prize pelchard get me my tea i make it snappy snappy right now sally smug face simkins creature has won again tease up your majesty oh. Oh. experience with one. Oh, they're ghastly creatures. No teeth and no brains. Oh, you idiot. Why are you always flapping around? Why can't you be more serious? Why can't you be less serious? But whatever do you mean, High Priest? One must be serious in order to learn. Yes, I know that. But... Do you realize that the sun must be about 93 million miles away. Yes, that's extraordinary. And it's nothing more than a huge ball of hot vapour. Uh, really, yeah? Uh... I reckon its surface temperature has to be at least 6,000 degrees, and the inside's even hotter. Uh, look, you've done enough lessons for one day. You know what they say, all work and no play makes Ramses a dull boy. But I thirst for knowledge, High Priest. I'm hungry to learn. Yes, I know that, but you should be enjoying yourself having fun. But studying is fun. No, I mean fun fun. You know, half a pound of company rice, half a pound of treacle. Goes the weasel. You see, even if you don't enjoy yourself, have fun. Sounds stupid to me. What's the point? There isn't any point. That's the whole point. Huh. Uh, you see, you've got your head buried in these scrolls all day long when you should be out enjoying yourself with children of your own age. There aren't any children my age in the palace. Oh, more's the pity. So come on. Let's do a couple of hours of elementary grammar, please. Very well. Great. <gasps> oh, if you would stop faffing around for five minutes and give me a hand, we might stand a chance of finding these blasted pearls of wisdom. Are you listening to me? <laughs> and he's in the final three. And he's in the last lap. And he's waiting for the chip of <laughs> Ridiculous, ridiculous. Oh, talking of ridiculous children, where's that sully smug face got to? Oh, I'm really enjoying this, High Priest. Can't we do something harder next? Oh, enough's enough. You're wearing me out. A thousand pardons, young prince. It is time for your bath. Oh, thank the stars for that. Oh, Louis. Okay, now then, young man, you know you have to have your bath. Oh, well, all right. I suppose it will give me a chance to calculate the specific gravity of the water. <laughs> Why can't he play with a rubber duck like all the other boys? He's a bright lad. Of course he is. I taught him everything he knows. Yes, High Priest. <laughs> what are you laughing at? Uh, nothing. 
Have you no work to attend to? Here. This needs polishing. I shall see to it at once, High Priest. See that you do. Yes, High Priest. You can depend on me. Bingo! There it is! The next lonesome pearl of wisdom! Oh, another whiff of that girl in sight! Excellent! Oh, T-shirt! I'm up! Oh! Oh, oh! oh! I think it's broken! No, it's okay! Oh, not that, you idiot! My uncle! <laughs> you will all kneel before me and grovel at my feet! I am the High Priestess of the Sacred Temple of the Nile. Excuse me. Oh. I, uh, Did you hear you say you were the High Priestess? Uh, no, no. I, I'm just a humble servant. What's going on here? Uh, nothing, High Priest. I, I was just uh, your chain. Thank you. And who might you be, child? Oh, You I can't was... just wander around here, is it? Just a minute. You're just the person I've been looking for. What? I'd like you to meet young Prince Tutankhamun. I'm sorry, I can't. But you must, please. I'll reward you. Anything you want. The The young prince, he needs someone his own age to play with, and you're just the person. Name your reward. All right, I will. That pearl there. Done. What do I have to do? Come, come with me. Come in, come in, come is that in. Is you, High Priest? Uh, yes, it is. Uh, you'd better bow. This scroll on advanced metaphysics is a real whiz. A nice little read. Uh, I brought someone to meet you. Someone who's going to play with you. Ah. Uh, yes. I thought we could start with a little game of T-shirt. A little game of T-shirt? What are you talking about? Aren't you? You aren't, are you? What? Um, sorry, nothing. You reminded me of somebody, that's all. Uh, now then, relax. Give the scrolls a rest for one day and enjoy yourself. Don't forget. Fun! Come on, then. How about a game of hide-and-seek? You go and hide somewhere and I'll count to a hundred. Oh, um, couldn't I do the counting? I love counting. Okay, you do the counting and I'll hide. Now close your eyes. And when you get to 100, come and find me, okay? Okay. Right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, that's easy peasy. I know. I'll count to 1,000. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Oh! It's standing right in front of me with an idiotic look on its face. That's where the pain is. Oh, you idiot! Why don't you do something to help me for once? Well, like what? Like finding me the next pearl. Well, where is it? There. Rightio, leave it to me. I'll get it, no problem. Did the young prince enjoy his bath? Um, I don't know. You better ask him. We have a little problem in the palace. I wonder if you could help us solve it. Uh, yeah, sure. It's about the new pyramid. Oh, yeah? Yes. The royal builders began with 23,741 stone blocks. Now 1,326 are cracked and unusable. Another 510 accidentally fell into the Nile, 77 of the wrong shape, and 13 were stolen. So, what they want to know is, how many more blocks will they need to finish the building? I said I would ask you. You are so good at sums. Um, right, um, what was the question again? You are not the young prince. Who are you? Uh, uh, just a minute look exactly like him. That gives me an idea. Well, um, goodbye. You can help me. Sorry, I've got to go. Uh, not so fast. I need you. I can't hang about. You can help me become the high priestess. Sorry, I'm in a hurry. <laughs> Quick, duck. Hmm? That's the weasel. Oh, goes the weasel. Osiris? Yes, 
High priest. The young prince is playing with that nice little girl. He's not to be disturbed for at least two hours. Ah. Very well. Good. Up goes the weasel. <laughs> Who was that? That, my lovely little look-alike, was the high priest. That chain round his neck. I could be wearing that with your help. Say that you'll help me. All right, I'll help you. Wonderful. If, if, if I can have that pearl that's on the chain. Is that all? The pearl is yours. If you listen to me and do exactly as I say. 990, 991, 992. Oh, T-shirt. What is that ridiculous child up till now? Oh, come back here, T-shirt. 199, 1,000. Here I come, ready or not. Oh, where am I? Oh, stop mucking about. Where's that pearl? What an extraordinary thing. What? Some kind of interdimensional transference, I'd say. What? Look at this place. I've never seen anything like it in my life. Amazing. Simply amazing. <laughs> come on. Come on, where are you? Oh. Now, are you sure you're clear about what you have to do? Yeah, um, you're going to get rid of the prince, then I'm going to take his place, then I'm going to sack the high priest and give his job to you. Simple pinpoint. Good boy, T-shirt, good boy. Sally! Oh! Oh! oh. Yes. Go oh. of me! Yes. Oh! Oh! Well, look who's here. Help! the base of that over there now you get in there oh, again help high priest prince please somebody help please. well we shan't be hearing any more from her come on t-shirt let's away and do the deed prince prince where are you help me It's all highly intriguing, you know. Tisha, enough is enough. I keep telling you, I am Tutankhamun, Prince of the Nile. But you can call me Toot. Oh, shut up, you idiot. <gasps> You're not Tisha. <gasps> You're not Tisha. <gasps> What's going on down there? Down where? Oh, shut up. <laughs> Golly gee, how did she do that? <gasps> Princey, Princey. Oh, he's disappeared. So what's the problem? If he's not here, why don't we just get on with the plan? You stupid boy. We've got to find him and lock him up. We can't have him wandering in here and ruining everything. I suppose not. <sighs> Come on. Prince. Cooey. Where are you? Princey. Princey, Princey, Princey. <gasps> Who are you? Oh, what? Oh. Are you all right? Oh, of course I'm all right. I've never felt better in my life. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Her Royal Highness, Queen Nefertiti of the Upper Nile. No. Oh, yes. A thousand welcomes. Oh, great queen. I should say so. Uh, I'd like to introduce you to the young prince, but... Uh, I seem to have mislaid him for the moment. Uh, excuse me. It's not him I'm interested in. It's you. Yeah, excuse me. Um, oh, you stupid old fool. Uh, exactly. Yeah, uh, pretty. Where is the little weasel? I have an idea. Leave it to me. I'll be back in a jiffy. By the spirits of ancient Egypt. Okay, Prince Toot, where are you? I'm here. Crikey! Gee whiz! You really do look like me, don't you? Well, how did you get here? I don't know. Extraordinary thing. Well, never mind all that. You're going back to the palace. Eh? Hold on to your hat. T-shirt? No. Wow, mind-boggling stuff, all of this. Such fun, eh? You little toad! Ah, ah. T-shirt, open the fire. Uh, oh, what is going on here? You get in there. Help! Help! I think it's time.
time the palace had a new high priestess. <laughs> so, this is where you've been hiding. I'm not hiding, I'm trapped in here. So are you. Is there no way out? These walls are solid stone. I wouldn't have thought so. Well, what are we going to do then? Help! Excellent. Nobody could tell you apart. <laughs> do your stuff and the pearl is yours. Ah, there you are. I've been looking everywhere for you. I thought you'd been lost. I've got something to tell you. And I have something to tell you. You're fired. I'm fired. <laughs> what? You heard me. Fired. Sacked. Out. Pa, 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 pa. I command you to give that chain of office to her. Pa, 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 pa. Do it now. Pa, pa, pa. <laughs> At last, it's mine, mine. Oh, you have to walk quite so fast. Oh, and what's going on here? You, what are you doing back here? It's me, it's me. What? I'm not him, I'm me. Uh, excuse us for one moment. You, huh? servant. <laughs> Haven't you any work to attend to? Uh, Here, you can polish this for a start. I shall see to it at once, High Priestess. See that you do. I will. <laughs> oh, where is you, you idiot? I was just on the verge of getting that pearl from the High Priest, or oh, whatever his name is. And now you're gonna muck it up. Relax, it's in the bag. What bag? Oh, the woman's promised to give it to me. What? Don't just stand there. Go and get it. Well, it worked. It did indeed. Uh, so can I have the pearl then? Yes, of course you can. Well, where is it? The ex-high priest has got it. What? What? He's just polishing it. Ha, see how he likes it. Well, where is he? We've got to find him. He'll be back. Don't worry. You'll get your pearl. <laughs> Yes, yes, of course. Pardon? I've just worked out a way of getting us out of here. Oh, yeah. This is the box of wonders which moves the willed chariot. Hey. Now, if my memory serves me correctly, which it usually does, the chariot fell to the floor approximately... Chain of office, High Priestess. Thank you. Oh, cut the crackle. Just give him the pearl. You promised him. There you are. Oh, come, my treasured lumpet. Let's away. Oh, it's a crocodile, Your Majesty. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Oh. What did you do that for? Get me away from here. No. Toots. Now I understand. Mine, I think. I uh, think I'd better be going. Yes, you'd better. Well, young lady, you've got your pearl in the end. And now, young prince, it's time to get back to your lesson. Lessons? But I want to play and have fun. Ooh. Come, Sal, let's play hide and seek. It's your turn to count. Sorry, Toot. I've got a tittle off now. Oh. Oh, well, never mind. Goodbye. Bye. You'll play, won't you? No, listen. Oh, have fun! Listen. Half the band. No, listen. <laughs> well, that's another one. In the bag. In the next episode, Sally finds herself in Sherwood Forest. Who is the villain who is out to rob her? Can she win the song contest and get the next missing pearl? Or will tea bag and t-shirt hit the right note and pip her at the post? Find out in Tea Bag and the Pearls of Wisdom.
Egyptian feel there, eh, Scally? Yeah, sort of Egyptian, wasn't Very it? Egyptian. What's that in your little paw? Well, Count Dracula is next, and here's yeah. a picture. This is from Andrew Watton, oh. and this is a picture of Count Dracula and Ghostbusters. That's and brilliant. it's the Gendarmes and Scally, a hunk of a strong dog. Me? Yeah, oh, you. brilliant. Hey, Scally. Yes? What's the day tomorrow? Uh, Wednesday. No, but what day is it? Um, Pancake Day. <laughs> Wanted for rustling hamburgers. He says he was roped into it. We run a very fair house here on Sundays. Mum sticks the lunch on, Dad sleeps it off, and I recycle the dishes. God, see the grease on that? Looks like Dad's used it for an oil change. Mind you, when it comes to knocking grease on the head, this fairy liquid's a serious piece of kit. It's kind to your hands, Mum says, and it cleans right through to the squeak. No messing. <laughs> Here you go. Perfect results every time. Let us know if you need a hand, son. Fairy cuts <laughs> grease to the squeak. Poor Michelle. She has caught the cold of clothes. She smells nothing. She has the bunged up nose, and she's out of tunes. Tunes release menthol vapors that flow through the sinuses to clear the head, helping the breathing more easily. Yes, Michelle is out of tune. Claude, as we can see, is not. Mentholated tunes help you breathe more easily. Ever thought of really testing your body and mind? Of using skills you have or developing new ones? Of rising to a challenge that not every civilian can? Try the Territorial Army for size. The Territorial Army, 0800 treble 5 treble 5. We're ready and waiting to talk to you. Waiter. You wanted a beer? Yes, please. Of course. And one last coffee, please. Oh, Brookbond Red Mountain is freeze-dried to taste fresh and richly roasted. Lovely, thank you. Red Mountain, it's like ground coffee taste without the grind. Wow, Tony, can you do that? Uh, sure, but not before I've had my Frosties. Come on, Tony, you'll miss the big race. Oh, no, I won't. Let's race. Go! This way, Tony! <laughs> the secret formula in Kellogg's Frosties turns a good breakfast into a... Great breakfast! You won! I made a real splash. Kellogg's Frosties brings out the tiger in you. And you! Coming up, it's Count Dracula. Now, is. Scally, it's not Pancake Day tomorrow. No, OK, it's Ash Wednesday. No, try again. It's the day that Rolf says, can you tell what it is yet? <laughs> yes, it is that day, but it's a special day. Not a clue. It is morning. Valentine's Day. Uh-oh. See you tomorrow. <laughs> Bye. Next today on ITV, Bob Holness is your host for another round of the general knowledge quiz, Blockbusters. Our delicious chicken curry takes time to perfect, time you can enjoy. The preparation of fine ingredients in seafood and chicken paella is preparation you can forget. And because we add those finishing touches to dishes like lasagna, you don't have to give them a thought. Menu master. Love and Sean Connery, the star's most romantic moments, and your chance to win this great car. Sulfadine has the power to hit pain where it hurts.
Next time you buy a hand lotion, treat yourself to a manicure. New hand and nail formula from Vaseline Intensive Care. Lookin' brings you the stars. Star portraits, star profiles, stars of IGV and Channel 4. Be starstruck with this week's Lookin'. Tomorrow at 8.30. Now listen up, sweethearts. Listen real hard, because Scorch is going to do a special Valentine's start. I can promise you one thing you'll quickly discover. This little dragon is a red-hot lover. Yeah. Scorch hots off the Ron Lucas Show tomorrow at 8.30 on ITV. Another battle between the blues and the whites, and of course the golds, blockbusters. Host of Blockbusters, Bob Holness. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you and welcome. Welcome to another Blockbusters, and this time we're going straight into the game.